All right, Poco X3 Pro users, why you and Bhima, what you with the device, MIUI 13 is here. It is based on Android 11. It is not official by Xiaomi. This is a port ROM by this particular team called Mint BGST. It is MIUI 13 and it's ported from the Redmi 9T. Now, this is the first video in this particular series. The reason I say series is because, of course, MIUI 13 is around the corner for this device. A lot of custom ROMs like Xiaomi.eu, MIUI VN, things will start flowing and we will be making videos on all of them. But this right here is the very first look at how MIUI 13 would look and run on the Poco X3 Pro if it is powered by Android 11. In all likeliness, it should be powered by Android 12. But in today's video, we're going to install it and we're going to check a step-by-step -step guide of how to go ahead and install it. And then we will have a first look. In fact, I'm going to experience this in front of the camera just with you guys and later a short review or maybe a benchmark video will follow up. But before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make exclusive, quick and amazing content like this. If you like chatting with like-minded people, well, join us on Telegram. We have more than 1500 members with similar devices over there and you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to PhoneOps. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. Okay, so it, it's hot, it's exciting. Things like these, I don't know. I mean, I know I should not be excited for MIA 13, but things like these are very, very interesting because before the manufacturer releases it, a custom team comes and ports it from another device. That makes things very interesting. So we have MIUI Mint BGST MIUI 13 version 22.1.5. Poco X3 Pro YU Bhima Android 11 build date is today. Download link here, mirror and patch. Now there is a patch to use MTP mode. Basically, whenever you connect your phone to your computer or laptop, MTP will not work if you flash this, but if you don't flash with this particular patch. Now you have the screenshots over here. Changelog says initial MIUI 13 build ported from Redmi 90, Redmi Note 4G line based on Xiaomi.eu 22.1.5 weekly decrypted by default. SE Linux is enforcing multi languages, fully RW system. That means read, write, debloated some apps. And this is the full change log over here. It's in a different language, so we're not going to get into that. It includes G apps, of course, safety net should be passing. Yes, this is MIA 13, but ported from Lime and still Android 11. Now, that's everything that you have there. And right now I am on CR Droid's latest update. I have, you know, copied the file that is the ROM file and the MTP fix to a flash drive, a pen drive. And what we're going to do now is we're going to boot to recovery. But before we do that, you have to take care of a few things. First things first, you need to ensure that you have more than 50% battery on your device. Make sure you've backed up all the information on your phone because everything is going to be wiped. You, of course, need to have an unlocked bootloader along with a custom recovery like TWRP or Orange Fox installed. Make sure you've removed your MI account, Google account, screen lock, face unlock, fingerprint pattern, everything, and rebooted the device one. Now, once you've taken care of all of those, it's time to flash. So let's go ahead and experience MIUI 13 on a wonderful device. Let's go to recovery over here. Okay. We are in recovery, so let's wait for the touch drivers to load over here. Now we'll go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik data, internal storage cache. Now in case your file is on the internal storage, don't wipe internal storage, be very careful. Okay, swipe to confirm, wipe. Okay, now go to install, select storage, select the USB OTG and MIUI Mint 13 YU 22.1.5, select this. Swipe to confirm flash. Now understand we are flashing MIUI, which is a 2.5 gigabyte file. So this flash will take anywhere between, you know, 45 seconds to a couple of minutes. So please be patient while that happens. All right, now as you can see, everything has been flashed. So go to the main menu, go to install and fix. Yes, the fix is what we have to flash. So swipe to confirm flash. Okay, now go to the main menu, go to wipe. Select format data and type in yes. Reboot system, bam. We are booting into MIUI 13. Now the first boot will take anywhere between two to five minutes because understand this is MIUI and first boot on MIUI ROMs takes time, but this is a custom ROM. So maybe just maybe it'll take less time. 
let's wait for the boot to complete all right just like that we are on mio 13 on the poco x3 pro now there is one thing that i would like to share with you guys is after flashing you know when i did a reboot it was actually stuck on the mi logo for quite some time in that case what you need to do is you need to press and hold the power button till the time the device reboots once it reboots it will boot into mi 13 you have to only do this once when you install the rom and then you should be good to go now let's quickly have a look over here MIA 13 you have so if you ask me about the languages I'm slowly going to scroll through all the languages because I understand our subscribers our friends from all over the world want to know if this particular ROM is available in their language or not so just go ahead and have a look if your language is available or not I'm just doing this so that you can save the inconvenience of downloading the ROM and flashing and then finding out anyways we need English. English is what we have. Let's go. Okay. I don't have a SIM card in there. I'll insert a SIM card after this video. Let's see Wi-Fi. Okay, 5 gigahertz is working fine. Let's put the password. Okay, setup complete. Fingerprint scanner is set up. That means the fingerprint scanner is working. Swipe to enter the system. Bam. Wow. Okay. Now the first observation is yes it looks different because this is mint bgst so it's a little themed as far as miui is concerned right now as you can see over here it is completely de-bloated there are not many bloatware applications that you can see over here if you see over here you have the security application but the first thing that we will do over here is something really really important and that is going to settings i don't like these uh, stuttery animations because we are running at 60 hertz so you have 90 hertz and you have 120 so you know you also get 90 hertz mode in mia 13 that is a good thing let's see here is there any improvement definitely an improvement and understand we've just flashed the rom so it's still settling down so the complete review per se will be tomorrow but as you can see you have this sort of a transparent ui going on over here you have this you know control center which looks different and then to the left, of course, you will have App Vault. So if you actually go to the launcher, yes, you do get the MIUI 13 launcher over here. Let's go to Google Discover over here and double tap to lock screen, don't show text. So yeah, all the MIUI 13 features that I have been seeing in this guy, the Mi 11X, I can already see them over here, which is a good thing. And even from a you know first install point of view, this looks quite snappy. It's not lagging much and stuff like that. Let's actually go to settings over here and let's go to my device. Wow, they have customized this completely and made it look different. That's a good thing. IPS AMOLED, okay. Anyways, all specifications tells us that this is Android version 11, as you can see over here. And the security patch is the 1st December 2021. This is based on a beta ROM right now apart from this if you see you have the complete settings menu available in sim cards and mobile networks you don't have anything wi-fi bluetooth connection and sharing wallpaper and personalization agree let's see which one we have over here okay so you don't quite have the mia 13 live wallpapers or you do have let's see here no so you have the super oh yes it was loading for some reason i don't know let's let's see if it asks us to download let's go ahead and download it apply set for both there you go wow this looks good doesn't it okay so that's wallpaper and personalization so basically they've included all the features of miui 13 in this particular rom which is really really sweet so as far as wallpaper and personalization is concerned, they've almost got the entire MIA 13 features working. But one small bug that I've noticed over here is settings is not opening right now, even though I've cleared it from, say, let's clear it from here. Yeah. So in that case, what I'll have to do is the typical, oh, the reboot menu looks different as well. So let's go ahead and restart. I'll have to restart the device because settings is not opening understand this is a port these are initial days and if there are some things that are not working do a reboot most of the time the reboot will fix your issues so let's wait for the phone to reboot here 
All right, so just like that, we are back. Let's disconnect the pen drive because we don't need that anymore. Let's see settings over here. Okay, settings is opening now. So I had gone to wallpaper and personalization. Now what I'm trying to do over here is I'm just trying to find out if it was actually a bug. So I, I went to library and then let's say, you know, let's set one of the molten glass wallpapers. Anyways, let's go back and let's look at some other features over here, right? So you have always on display and lock screen. Now on this device, always on display, let's wait, always. Okay, so you do have always on display as well. Although I would not recommend you to use it because I understand this device comes with a LCD panel and it will drain your battery. So it's, it's completely up to you. You have sleep, raise, wake, all the other options of MIA 13, pocket mode, fingerprint, face and lock is also present. So we'll test that as well. And second space and privacy protection. Now, apart from this, if you see, you have the display settings over here right so you have 90 hertz option over here as i mentioned earlier you have the color scheme option over here and then let's see what we have let's go to sound settings now sound and vibration you get the new ui over here as well profile video for incoming calls just like miuivn additional settings so you know you can disable the boot sound which nobody likes i'm pretty sure <laughs> you have something called a sound effects over here so you sort of an equalizer is present over here and then Let's see here, notification and control center, notification effect, control center style, smart home, item shown on the lock screen after swiping down, status bar customization, these are good things. Next to the icon is what we are looking for. And as the ROM is settling down, you know, I can feel that the ROM is getting smoother. You know, app lock and all the other things are present as well. If you go to special features, you know, you have floating windows, you would have the sidebar, which you can always show. So if you enter a game, it'll enable game turbo. If you enter, say a video application, it will go ahead and open the video toolbox and stuff like that. So yes, this is MIA 13 and by no means is this a review. These are initial impressions. I just expected, you know, I just expected this to work fine and it is working absolutely okay. There's just one small bug that I had, even that is fixed after rebooting. So yeah, it looks pretty rock solid. I'm going to test this for you guys. There is a dedicated gaming mode that they have included. There is Dolby Atmos available. So a lot of things coming up for this device and this particular ROM. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.